off of your ruffs. Everybody always wants to know who's the most important wife. And they've been arguing about it for centuries. We've heard it all. Who has the longest, was the strongest? The biggest sinner is Oz, the winner. Who had the sun takes number one? Who was most chaste shall be first place. The most inglorious is victorious. The winning contestant was the most protestant. <laughs> Protestant. But tonight, we're going to answer your questions once and for all. figure out which one of us is the queen of the castle, the rose among the thorns, the Thomas Cromwell amongst the royal ministers between 1532 and 1540. But how in the purgatory are they going to choose their leading lady? Well, hold up. If this is going to be a fair competition, they're going to have to judge us by the one thing we have in common. The queen to take the crown should be the one who had the biggest. Load of BS to deal with from the man who put a ring on. So, you're gonna roll a little contest for you. And the rules are simple. The queen who was dealt the worst hand. The queen with the most hardships to withstand. The queen for whom it didn't really go as planned. Shall be the one to lead the band. from tonight, New York. I'm about to win this competition. Maria! Give me a beat. <laughs> so, since the day I arrived in England, let's just say my faith has been tested on more than one occasion. First things first, I shipped over from Spain on the night of my sweet 16th to marry some prince called Arthur. And I'm like, okay. Then I'm gonna die, so naturally I'm in prison for seven years. Really going with the grieving process, you know? Still, I'm like, okay. Oh, but thank God they rescued me just in time to marry Prince Henry, my dead husband's brother. Okay, so I'm thinking, a bit weird. But you see him back in the summer of 09, let me tell you, he was uh, okay. So seven years later, we're still trying for an heir. He's trying really hard. And I'm like, ugh, okay. Then he starts coming home late. I was just out with my ministers. But there's lipstick on his ruff. And I'm like, okay. Send me to an unarmed marriage. Move some side chick into my palace and move me into a convent. Now. <laughs> I don't think I look that good in a wind pool. <laughs> so I'm like, no way.
sale. 22 came straight to the UK. All the British dudes went up and fail.
Catherine of Aragon had tragically died. <laughs> it's cold wearing yellow to a funeral! Hang on! Really wanted? Yeah, like I had a daughter and he literally chopped my head off. Okay, yeah, you're right. I was lucky. Okay, I was really lucky. I was in love. I just had a beautiful baby. Henry was happy because thank God it was an Edward and not an Edwina. I was, I was so excited for his first steps, his first words. We're not getting a good night's sleep for the next three years. But I never got to see any of that. You know, people say Henry was stone-hearted, uncaring, and I'm not sure that he was. Yeah, actually, come to think of it, there was this one really cute time where I had a daughter and he chopped my head off. <laughs> I know that his times with the queens before me were hard, but they were also full of fire. He raged and stormed at them, and because they are both absolute badass monarchs, they raged and stormed right back. But I didn't do that. Instead, I stood by him like I was made of stone. I stood firm. No matter his flaws or his tempers, no matter my doubts or fears, I stayed there by his side. And that's not because I was scared or naive or weak. It's because I loved him.
had to adjust his location settings, if you will. <laughs> to find his next queen, we're heading to Germany. We'll bring all the boys in. Ignore the fear and you'll be fine. We'll turn this fear into a night. So just say yeah and don't say nine. Cause now you're in the house, in the house of all my You'll still walk at 40. <laughs> Thank you, face. <laughs> no? Well, never mind. She has already made a match with the Duke of Milan, anyhow. Okay, next! Oh, <laughs> Your Highness, may we present Amalia of Leaves. Just a German girl trying to live the English dream. Hashtag no Catholics. Hashtag big dowry. <laughs> Your Highness, Your Highness, Your Highness, we are honored to present to you, Anna of Cleves, the most beautiful woman in the whole of the whole Roman Empire. And let me assure you, her whole mind has certainly done her justice. <laughs> ah, they are good. And I think we can say with some certainty, you will be happily married for many years to come. Ah, I can see it now. Henry VIII and his famous Four wives. No. No, oh, four. please, no need to say us. The pleasure has been ours. It's it's a Expectations. 
I mean, it's the usual story, isn't it? The savvy, educated young princess deemed repulsive by a wrinkled, wheezing, ulcer riddled man 24 years her senior. Rejection. Rejection from a king. I mean, how can anyone overcome a fate as devastating as being forced to move into a resplendent palace in Richmond with more money than I could spend in a lifetime and not a single man around to tell me what to do with it? So 
Legit sounds really rough. I wouldn't know anything about that. I mean, look at me, I'm really hot. So yeah, I can't even begin to think of how I compete with you all. Oh wait, like this. I think we can all agree I'm the 10 amongst these threes. I was a child, I'd make the boys go wild. Take my first music teacher, 
Henry Mannix. I was young, it's true, but even then I knew. The only thing you wanna do is ah, run dark.
court and his friends are sleazy, except for this one courtier. He's a really nice guy, just so sincere. The royal life isn't what I planned, but Thomas is there to lend a helping hand. So sweet, make sure that I'm okay. And we hang out.
miscarriages? Really? Isn't that a bit <laughs> Someone's got a conscience all of a sudden. Ooh, ooh, I'm Catherine Parr. I draw the line in arbitrary places. Blah, blah, blah. No, please. She just knows she's not going to win. Oh, so she's trying to make us look stupid instead of playing by the rules like everyone else does. No, that's so not. Wow. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. You know what, Queens? If it's a sob story you want, I will give you one. Are you sure, Catherine? Are you sure you don't want to just stick to backing vocals? You know where you belong. <laughs> You're right, I should sing a song. It's, it's only fair. Uh, go on, Queens. Take a seat. Go on. <clears throat> hey, uh, <laughs> everyone. Is it okay if we try something a little bit different tonight? Yeah. Hey, hi. Could I get that beautiful light back? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> And Joan, could you give me a cute little B flat major seven? Perfect. <laughs> so, um, just for a bit of context, I've actually had my fair share of marriages. Something Henry and I have in common, I guess. Though, unlike him, I did manage to get through them without decapitating anyone. I know, a gold star for Kathy Parr. <laughs> but the thing is, they had this really annoying habit of passing away, so, <coughs> as well as dealing with, you know, incapacitating grief, I also had to keep finding new husbands to avoid being ostracized. Yeah, Tudor womanhood. Would recommend. <laughs> and then, one day, Finally, I meet this guy, Thomas. He seemed like he might stick around for a while, and you guessed it, he turned out to be the love of my life, I know, right? We had this plan to get married, actually. That's when Henry turned up! Single and ready to make an unsuspecting woman his wife. Just my luck. So that was that. I had to write a letter to Thomas, ending things. Dear Tom, you know I love you, boy, in every single way, though I love you, boy, I'll miss you every day. Oh, I love you, boy. I wish that I could stay with you and keep the life I made with you. And even though this feels so right, I'm
show competing, we'd realized it would turn out to be such a mess. Yeah, because then if we had realized, then we could have done something else, like, 
Maybe a fake competition to show everyone how messed up comparing us is. <laughs> we could have found some cool way to like, I don't know, reclaim our stories or like all become the leading ladies, blah, blah, blah. Oh, we could have done that as a song. Oh, that would have tied everything together so neatly. <laughs> if only we'd have thought of it before. <laughs> Free to 
to take our crowning glory for Okay. <laughs>